Game of Thrones is almost here, and while most of us are breaking out our three-eyed raven beer and giving thanks to the old gods and the new and sharpening our Oathkeeper replica sword, there are wildlings out there who still have not watched Game of Thrones. So in case you need more convincing, here's the top 10 reasons to watch Game of Thrones. Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones. Number 10, sexy people. Everyone in the series is so damn attractive. Kit Harrington, Richard Madden, Lena Headey, Amelia Clark, hell, even our fringe characters are sexy as fuck. Who doesn't appreciate a man or lady in armor, am I right? Number nine, comedy. The humor in this series may be dark and full of terrors, but it sure makes us laugh out loud. The witty writing and impeccable delivery for Tyrion or Bronn, the giggles that arise out of the situations the characters are thrust into, and unlikely character pairings bring the smiles even in a world full of downer situations. Number eight, no protagonist. The genius of having multiple storylines running simultaneously, as well as no clear-cut hero characters, is that there's no protagonist, which means everyone has someone they can find to cheer for and relate to, and no one feels left out. Number seven, compelling plot. One hour goes super fast, even if you've read the books and know what's coming next. The credits roll and you want more, despite the show jumping between characters and locations. Number six, emotional roller coaster. From love to hate, excitement to fear, pride to oh dear lord of light stop. Game of Thrones has it all. It's gritty and real with an author who isn't afraid to kill off your favorite character at any time and write characters who are kind of good people but mostly not so you never really know what's coming next. Number five, complex characters. In any book to film or TV adaptation, it's difficult to capture just how layered each character truly is without those inner monologues. But the writers of Game of Thrones pitch the ball to the actors perfectly, giving them the best possible situations to knock that ball out of the park so that we know exactly how Sansa of feels when, uh, no spoilers, and how Cat feels when Damn it! Number four, controversial we're not afraid to show that on TV <sighs> scenes. There are moments when you'll read something and think, oh, they'll never be able to do that on TV. And then HBO shocks you and does it, and like, really does it. HBO is not scared of anybody. Lots of very sexy, sexy scenes, the most horrific ways of killing off characters ever, incest, and even political statements like this one. Number three, Westeros itself. Part of the brilliance of the series is how the <sighs> setting can have dragons, white walkers, and even magic, and still seem so damn real. The landscapes, architecture, and clothing pull from different parts of history and come together in a way that is new, yet familiar at the same time. Just brilliant. Number two, skirting the source material. The Game of Thrones TV series manages to capture the essence of Westeros and the characters we love from the books without staying 100% true to the plot of the books. That means surprises for everyone, book readers or non alike. And finally coming in at number one, just like politics. The series as a whole not only shows the intricate political atmosphere of Westeros, but also shows you how the Game of Thrones is being played. We see all the moving pieces, how they're strategizing, the alliances, the power plays. After all, in the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. So better play to win. So which house are you guys rooting for and why or why not? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, come back again soon, will ya? My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and we'll see you soon on more SourceFed Nerd. <laughs>